Lane Demarest with ShakeFit.com. What you just saw me do was, in CrossFit, a handstand push-up. Now, for me, I just did a modified version because, as you see, I'm not exactly all the way down to the floor. It took me a year to be able to do that. So you're probably looking at myself and other competitors who do this exercise in wads and think to yourself, I can never do that. Well, I'm going to show you a couple exercises that will help you build the upper body strength to be able to do that. All right? So stay tuned. So as you saw me earlier, I went ahead and performed what's known as a handstand push-up. But you also noticed that I wasn't completely coming all the way down to the floor. I actually had this 45 pound plate as well as one ab mat to protect my head. So you're, as I stated before, the upper body strength is a must. So some accessory work that I did in order to perform that was a plyometric push-up. I have a yoga mat here for my knees and I'm gonna come down. Toes are not here, they're actually on the ground. I'm actually going to open this up just a little bit and you'll understand why in a second. So I'm gonna come ahead and have my hands right on top. I'm gonna to sink down, take a big breath in, push off, and then sink. Push off, and come down again. So these plyometric push-ups gives me the plyometric or the explosiveness, if you will, of that push-up when I'm upside down. So you can actually, for proficiency, Go ahead, start off with your knees, then actually do them standing up if you can. Then after that, go ahead and travel around. So check this out. I'm gonna come down here. Travel around the world. Explode. Come down. Travel around to this side. Explode. These are different variations of the plyometric push-up that will actually in turn help you with your handstand push-ups. Another thing that I would definitely recommend is a strict press dumbbell with a dumbbell or with a bar. Simply, and I like to do them sitting because the rest of my body is isolated. If I can't use anything else to get the weight above my head. It's all about doing accessory work in order to help you become proficient in your workouts. So again, have fun with these. It took me a year. Be patient with yourself. That's that consistency and patience. That's really the two things that I could say that helped me get through this entire year of trying to do them. I have an excellent mobility coach who helps me with my mobility work as well as my imbalances. Um, Jamie Magno, I love you girl. And um, I suggest that you seek a professional out there. If you feel that there's some things that are not quite right, go and seek a professional out there who's trained and certified in this field. So again, Shalane Demarest with ShapeFit.com. If you have any questions, please reach out to me on Instagram at FOY1966 or on Facebook, facebook.com backslash FOY1966. Again, be patient with yourself, stay fit, stay blessed, and I'll see you soon. Enjoy. Take care. Gotta go practice.